Hey guys, it's P. I require a lot of help. I have a tendency to read a lot of self-development books, except here's the issue with that. I've found that I've read so many books and then I go to finish them and like months later, I completely forget what they're about. And here's the problem. I wasn't tracking what I was reading. I wasn't note-taking at all. So basically everything I was reading was going straight to the trash along with my time that I spent reading it because because I wasn't highlighting things and if I was on my Kindle or whatever I certainly wasn't going back to read those things and I wasn't journaling things in a centralized location so really what's the point then basically the issue here right is that if you're like me and you're reading these business books but you're not putting things that you're reading into action, then you're wasting your time and there's a better way to do it. So not to be ick, right? But how to win friends and influence people is pretty much the chef's kiss, high level tier of self dev books. And there's a pretty famous quote in there that goes something like, the great aim of education is not knowledge, but action. So if you wanna put those things into action, of course, highlighting or writing them down, those things are number one. But also having a place to store them and be able to reference them in the future is also extremely important. So that's where this thing comes into use, this Notion page that I'm about to walk you through. It is essentially a repository for everything that you read and your notes and a place to reflect. I will get into showing you all of that right now. All right, here we are in the bookshelf. As I say, every time you are duplicating one of these templates, first thing you wanna do is come in here and get rid of that and rename it whatever you wanna rename it, change the icon. Like we just talked about highlighting, super important. If you're someone that reads physical copy books, then maybe you want to have this key here to remind yourself what the different highlighter colors are for. And if you hate that, then we can just delete it. It's disgusting. Let's get into the main purpose, which is logging our books. So we're gonna look at the different components of an entry and then how to super easily create one. So of course here we have title. That's where the title goes. I have a few different tags in here already and they reference a lot of the books that I've read. If something doesn't make sense for you, crime for instance, although I know that there's some true crime girlies out there and you can just remove it and likewise you can add stuff as well. So let's say that one day you want to filter for leadership. You can come up here to filter and then go to tags and choose what you want to filter by. So if we want to do that, it will populate all the books that have that tag in them. You can also just type in here leadership and it will likely come up. I have date completed because it is sort of nice to track when you are finishing books and possibly use that to get an idea of how long ago it was and maybe the impact it's made. Main idea, the purpose is to, at a glance, be able to remember, oh, <laughs> The, I don't know what why we sleep is about. And then I can come here and see it's about sleep. So last review just tells you when you last added to or just clicked into it. So now we're gonna jump into a book and I'm just gonna go into this example here. We see all of those properties on top. We're just gonna scroll down here. So it starts with three sentence summary. I feel like this is a neat brain exercise and sort of forces you to sum up the book in three sentences and thus makes you focus on only the essentials. And so I sort of think about it in terms of if someone asks you what the book is about, just giving them a quick explanation. Back to the idea of taking action with these things. This do section is sort of the pick three things that you want to take from this book and actually implement. Uh, notes is basically a place for the best quotes and reflection is sort of like a journal entry vibe. So a place to go back and reflect. So I have two example books in here for you to initially reference. One is <laughs> Why We Sleep, which 
I haven't done a good job at implementing since I went to bed at 2 a.m. last night. Here's an example of how I used it. Same for how to make people like you. I'm just gonna show you how to add a new book. So first off, I wanna show you where the templates live. Up here, if you hit that down arrow by new, nonfiction is set to be the default. You hit new or you come down here and hit new either way. When you do, it is going to populate with all of that stuff. Go through and add all those different things. You can call me extra. I don't care. I come in and if something is like a purple tag, which I didn't really do purposely, I'll come and like match the, the thing by color, the emoji. So that's gross. And guys, that's it. So if you like this template, there is a link in the description to Gumroad where you can find this and my other templates. You can get this tracker completely free, but if you really like it and you wanna give me a couple dollars, you can do that too, please. I appreciate you watching. And as always, I'm here for any questions you have. So please comment them. My email is always in the description as well. And happy reading and remembering and utilizing and self-helping.